Get the shot. Ah, oh, jealous. I wish I could do some downhill laps, but I have this small contest I have to do over here. Yeah. Anyways, what, where do you want me to start from? This whole adventure started when Crankware tweeted at me after I did my Red Bull Uncontainable project. Hey, you know, you're riding big enough stuff, you should ride some of our events. Fast forward from there, two brand new Trek slope style bikes show up at my house, ride it for half an hour, this thing looks sweet, hop on a plane to Road to Rua. I was supposed to ride my first contest in Switzerland. Unfortunately, I ended up getting hurt. Why does this always have to happen to me? Oh yeah, 26 tricks was great. Let me tell you about it. Did I underestimate it? Sure, f yes I did. Prime line it was the way I really wanted to kick off my mountain bike debut. Drew Bizanson, BMX legend, moving over to mountain biking and uh, definitely showing some serious skill on the big bike. Oh, who wants some? Now it's all down to the last stop. Obviously, I wasn't able to ride as many contests as I would have hoped. The option of getting enough points to just be in for Red Bull Joyride was out of the window. So it's time to get that wild card and, and make it happen when it counts. Yeah. Watch it. Uh, got the worst of the track. Mic check, check one, two. If it ain't a check a text, that's all I'm gonna do. Mic check, check one, two. If you ain't talking dollars, I can't understand you. Okay, somebody cue the inspirational music. Drew is just two rounds away from qualifying for a little slope style competition named Red Bull Joyride. Joyride, of course, is a place populated with plus-size jumps and screaming fans, a place currently presided over by a fella named Brandon Semina. The current king of slope style is a Whistler local who in 2011 rode smooth enough, technical enough, and large enough to win. Since then, it's pretty much been nothing but unicorns and rainbows for Brandon. Cork 720 down, can he get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Four Joyride wins, in five years. The course may look all manicured and peaceful now, but they call it the calm before the storm for a reason. There are like 52 guys here in Colorado positively chomping at the bit for one of these two joyride wild cards up for grabs. How competitive is it? Riders like Homeboy here are absolutely sending it. Oh! oh what the? Oh, 720! Oh, 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 oh. Guys you've never heard of before are doing stuff like this. Oh my goodness. Wow! He landed oh, 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 oh. Front oh, oh, oh. One last trick. A backflip double tail. Oh, oh yeah. Oh man. Drew Bazanson now. So the key words to compete by. Okay. We know who this guy is already. Focus, determination, prepare relentlessly, never give up. And probably the most important thing is have fun. If you're too tense, you're not gonna get there. See how the wind feels. 
See how I feel and, you know, see how the cookie crumbles. Drew Bazanson, if he could be one of the top unqualified riders for Joyride, he would get himself in the mix and he has been battling to try and make it to Joyride all year long. Here we go from Canada, dropping in for you next for Red Bull, Drew Bazanson. Now, if Drew can do in the finals here in Colorado what he did in the qualifications, he'll secure himself one of those precious, precious wild cards and a rendezvous with Brandon Semenuk. How exciting. Put your hands together. It's been a battle all year for that bat. Let's hear from Drew. My wheels completely flat spotted. That's it. That's all she wrote. I'm done. Are you kidding me? So the key words to compete by, never give up. Dude, I think your best bet is to just go to the bottom and go to the shop. And just like, yo, I'm like, oh, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're like, I'm going to do my second so line. Like, yeah. Help me out. Yeah, yeah. get that, dude. Get that. Six months of preparation, and seven countries later, and his dream of competing at Joyride is going to be ruined by a buckled wheel? No way. Our hero is on the ropes, but he's battling back. From injury, from mechanicals, from an insane amount of pressure. This man wants in. He's made the pilgrimage this year to try and get in to Joyride. A 44 run number one. He's got the skills to get up at the top. Here we go. Drew Bazanson coming in. Second and final run for Drew. Get loud. This is like some kind of Hollywood movie. Until it isn't. Oh, missing trick on the dirt jump. Wow, knowing what the level is on right now. He knows that he threw that run away by not tricking that dirt jump. There will be no wild card for Drew. Instead, Emilio Hansen and Matt Jones will be joining the 18 other qualified riders at Joyride. So should we just add Drew to the laundry list of other athletes who have tried to switch sports and failed? No, I think the biggest thing I definitely learned was the importance of balance. Getting to like, have that little bit of time away from BMX was good for myself. If you set your goals high enough, there's always going to be the chance of coming up short. Sometimes it's the things you pick up along the way that make the whole process worth the trip. I still feel like I need a little bit more in the front. Am I working with a production crew or am I working with a bunch of monkeys? Yeah. Watch it. Uh, got the whistle on the track. Set on the boards. Check. This is the mark. Psst. Jonathan, can you hear me? Alexa stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Look around, left, right, up and down. Ain't nobody like me. Wrist so icy, colors like ice tea. Them diamonds get pricey. Got rich now, everybody so nice to me. Hello to the man owning the world's smallest island. <laughs> Mic check, check one, two. If it ain't a check, a text, that's all I'm gonna do. Mic check. Check one, two, if you ain't talking dollars, I can't understand you. What will he think of next? <laughs> <laughs>